Today's actually going to be a pretty busy day. I've got quite a bit of production to get done. Uh, and then we have a sales meeting this afternoon with a potential client, which we're very excited to go meet with. So we've got um, got a pretty, pretty hectic day, so a lot to get done. So let's quit talking. Let's get to it. Come on. So last night, when I went to have dinner with the girls, I knew I should have stopped and got gas, but I didn't. I thought oh, I'd just wait till tomorrow morning. And now I am on fumes. So <laughs> I'm just hoping I get to the gas station. You know, actually, when I think about it, there's a lot of things that I procrastinate on in my life. You know, like right now, I'm a little bit overdue for an oil change. So I'll push that as far as I can, can push it. So I guess for the new year, if I have a new year's resolution, aside from, you know, reviving my business and and the losing weight goal that I have I guess another goal that I could have is to stop procrastinating so much on little things because they're little when they're little then they become big and then they're you know then they're major things but if I just take care of them when they're little it'd be fine but I look at the little things that like they're insignificant and now I'm just rambling. All right, I have another goal. Put it on my tab. Done. And I don't care what anybody says. Just because I top my gas off and I round up to an even dollar amount, that's not OCD. So today is the 13th vlog I've done, lucky number 13. It's a little harder than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm trying to come up with something creative to share with you every single day. I'm generally speaking a pretty boring person, so there's not a lot <laughs> that I do. I don't, I don't go out at night, I don't, uh, I don't travel to exotic locations every single day. I'm not flying across the country every week. So yesterday I actually got done editing the vlog a little bit early and was waiting to go meet the girls last night for late dinner. So I watched some of the, the vlogs over the past couple of weeks. And I say um all the time. It's absolutely blowing my mind. And what's frustrating about that is I used to have a radio show and I had to already train myself once to get ums out of me talking. So I apologize for all the uhs and the ums. I am um, trying to get rid of them. Okay, so I just checked and I've got, uh, I guess we're right at about an hour until the sales meeting and it's gonna take me about 16, 15, 16 minutes to get there, uh, so we're gonna be good to go. I hate sales. Let me explain. I don't hate meeting new customers or new prospects. I certainly don't uh, dislike talking about what we do. Um, I get accused of... It's not that I hate everything about sales. It's... it's, it's Sales is perceived as being this adversarial process where I'm going to try to convince you to pay a certain amount of money for something. You're going to try to convince me to charge you a certain amount of money. And we're going to go back and forth in this duel of wits to see who ends up prevailing in the end. I, that's annoying to me. I, I like advertising and marketing too much for that ugly process. I'd probably have more business if I just shut up and sell like everybody else does. I guess what I'm trying to say is it's not that I hate sales because sales is a necessary evil. I get it. I talk too much, I guess. That, that's my problem. I talk too much. <laughs> All 
right, so I just wrapped up that sales meeting. Went very well. Uh, very, very positive sales meeting. So I'm pretty excited about that possibility. That's what we need this year. We need more meetings like that this year. Well, right now I'm headed back to the office. I've got an absolute ton of work to get done today. So time to get busy. Have you ever been mad about something happening to you and you wish that there was somebody that you could blame, but it's not your fault, it's not anybody else's fault, it was just simply an accident. It's like there's nothing to blame but the universe. Yeah, I hate it when that happens. Like when you're driving on the interstate and a rock flies up and hits your windshield and cracks it. Yeah, that's pretty frustrating. So I was gonna go grab some lunch, but uh, Looks like I might be here for a second. Make it up. So I think the hard lesson that I learned in 2016 was that while I personally may hate sales as far as doing the activity of sales and going out and uh, doing the cold calling and the, the various things that um, great salespeople do every single day. Why I, that might not be my forte. As the owner of my company, I cannot create an environment that hates sales. So I've committed to having a positive attitude about sales, truly respecting the, the job that our salespeople do, the importance of what our salespeople do. There's so much negativity that surrounds sales. I mean, for instance, cold calling. I, every single person you know you met for the first time sometime so that's a cold call meeting somebody for the first time you know it's one thing to say you're a sales friendly workplace it's a whole nother thing to actually be a sales friendly workplace so that's my resolve that i will treat my sales team with the same level of uh, intensity and appreciation that i that i you know give all of our other departments uh, sales is just as, if not more important. Been waiting on this. I think I know what it is. So this hard drive I have, this one right here, this iOmega hard drive, um, eight terabytes. Yeah, this one's eight terabytes. Good hard drive. Um, used it for a real long time, uh, but it was hooked up to our network, and our network is set up a little bit different here than it was in our studios back in Tennessee. And <laughs> so I've been out here in Arizona the entire time, and I've been unable to use this. I have my Pegasus, which is an 18 terabyte, um, which I've been using, and that's given me pretty good space, but I'm starting to, you know, use up the space. So. I need to employ our eight terabyte hard drive too. It's got the hookup for a Mac and USBs. Hopefully this works. Okay, well that pretty much does it for me tonight. I'm actually getting done a little bit early. See, 7.55 tonight, which is very nice, earlier than it's normally been. So I'm gonna get this thing edited and spend some time with the kids. So enjoy your night. We'll see you tomorrow. A rock just flew up and hit my windshield and cracked it. Yeah, it's gone.